left here. I don't, hold on, let's go back for a minute. Drinking. I don't know who this is. I don't know who this is. Uh, I don't know who everybody, I don't know who, I don't know, who is this? Pedos by Freak Love. 2024 edition. F tier being jail time and S tier being Diddy's disciples. First hmm. up, we got Grandmaster D. Yeah, he, he's at a top. He's come out about this man. Like, bro, he is putting up a very, very good case for Pedo of the year. Like, buddy is dead ass dropping look numbers. No, he's, he's the one who started it. Bro, without Diddy, bro, it wouldn't be, it wouldn't got this bad, bro. Like, when, a lot of stuff when that came to the light like this. So let this be known, this guy's been a freak since the 90s. I mean, it was kind of obvious ever since he started his own record label. I mean, like, why do you think he named it Bad Boy Records? Well, I bet you've been a very bad boy, Mr. Diddler. I bet that's why he signed Biggie, <laughs> too. But once he found out that Big was looking in different directions, he quickly changed his plan and forcibly made him look one direction up while he was in his casket. I mean, come on, bro. We all know that Diddy has something to do with that man's killing, bro. But one thing I do know for certain, I really don't know. Mel didn't make the same mistake that Big did. Well, he did make a big mistake, but it was just in his asshole. Kidding, kidding, kidding. There's nothing wrong with being gay. Meek wanted it to happen. And the only mistake that Meek made was not wearing a butt plug. Back on topic, though. This man did he- Bro, why is he assaulting Meek Mill verbally, bro? His count is insane. Meek Mill, Usher, Justin Bieber. Yes, I said Justin Bieber. When he was a kid, too. I ain't gonna lie. That nigga got him young. This nigga Diddy convinced Justin Bieber's parents to let Justin stay with Diddy in his mansion alone for three months so that Diddy could suck up all the talent out of Justin. I mean, the threesomes were probably insane, torturous, horrible, deplorable. But that's like putting a big, juicy steak in front of a fucking pit bull and expecting that shit not to get slurped up. Bad choice of words. Like that nigga Usher was probably singing tunes to JB while he was taking it. Golly, he is over here. Actually, but that's not the last thing we got on Diddy. He was also busted for sex trafficking this year, which makes absolutely zero sense. And plus, I know this nigga Diddy had connections, bro. Why didn't you just get Jeff Epps? Soon, like, when I heard, like, the Cassie situation, that's when I know, like, that's when I just found out, like, oh, that's what he, I thought that's just, that was it. I thought it was just the whole iceberg. Next, you know, he found out that he was fucking around with this nigga, this nigga, this nigga, trying to fuck this nigga, this nigga. I'm like, golly, iceberg bigger than my house. Like, that boy Epp already had a whole operation going on, bro. Yo, why, why couldn't y'all just collab or something? See, things like this is why I think this nigga was just a pure villain. Because just why, bro? Like, you're dead ass doing it for the love of the game at that point. We've never seen a villain like that before, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Give him a super mass contract to the Legion of Doom. Final rating, 9.8. He's going into the tier that's named after him, bro. I, I think that's kind of obvious. Next up, Chris Tyson. Okay, yeah, I do know about this, though. That person is a pedo. Amen. I don't care what gender they are. They <laughs> like kids. Like, why are people so worried about the wrong thing? I could give a goddamn he got a penis or a vagina. That nigga likes touching kids. You have a person who faps to CP drawing. And y'all are worried about it being considered fapping or fingering. It does not matter. And to the people who are defending this creep but are degrading Dr. Disrespect, y'all are fake. Keep the same energy all the way around or don't comment about this shit at all. Don't switch up either. Like Chris did to his wife and kids. I ain't got no problem with that guy wanting to be a bad you can be a bad all right this person right here like this person bro you cannot talk shit about him bro because he's gonna and don't have information don't let him have information on you bro because he's gonna he's gonna he's gonna obliterate you i ain't gonna lie and be involved in your son's life maybe that was a problem he wanted to be too involved all i do know though is that your childhood best friend wants nothing to do with you no more and it's because you're dragging his reputation through the mud but i'm sure you love to participate in drag like just look at mr beast's comment section bro it's been pretty rough recently but i'm sure ava loves it rough final rating 8.1 and for their tier i'm gonna give him b for bad bitch next is too mad <laughs> Now, I'm gonna keep it very real with y'all, bro. When this news broke out, I didn't even know who this guy was. All I, I still don't know who he is. is a drug ah! Look at the top of his head. Give his barber a life goddamn sentence right next to two men. Oh, wait. Damn! Apparently, he got exposed for liking minors, and allegedly, he even had a 17-year-old girlfriend. And the reason why we know this is because he's tweeted all of this information out himself. Now, obviously, this guy wasn't right in the head, especially when you do some dumb ass shit like that. But honestly, oh, yeah, GG. You know, it is sad to see another life lost. Even though he was trying to make little girls lose a couple of other things. Oh, he's dead? Rating 8 and he's also being put in B tier to honor his new best friend, Ted Bundy. Next up is T. He's dead? Who's this? Right, so T was exposed for 
messaging a 17 year old girl some pretty heinous things. These messages were actually exposed by the girl herself. And if you look at the text messages, you will find out pretty quickly why she exposed these messages. I mean, just look at what this guy was saying. Bro. I want to slap my dick on your pussy. Choking and slapping you while you take my whole And the thing is the the dudes that be Diddy Disciples they be the freak they be freaked out like freak like crazy freaked out. This stuff I wouldn't even text to my girlfriend, bro. I wouldn't even text this to my girlfriend, bro. Like, what are you? You're that freaked out. You have to text this to somebody that's underage. What are we doing? In your pussy. Have we lost in your pussy to the you cream of my fingers? Like, bitch, nigga, this is not 50 shades, bitch. Who the fuck do you think you are? This guy must have thought he was on a fucking TV show or some shit. Yeah, you're right to catch a predator. Like, what the hell are you talking about? I want your creamy pussy into my fingers. My brother in Christ, fine God. He has no excuses. But this didn't stop him from making some. But he dead ass made a whole PowerPoint of excuses just to avoid accountability. Like, part of me can't even be mad, bro. Like, that takes dedication. Only thing is, is that his dedication is to buy. And minors. Although the only thing that's gonna be getting busted in for a while is his ass in prison. Don't drop the soap, big boy. In prison? Get that ass I don't be knowing that. Bro, I promise you, I don't be knowing none about these people, bro. I don't know about a few of them. And also for the tier list, I'm gonna give him an A tier. Next, we got Jeff Epp. Man, Ooh. Jeff Epp is a true goat in the Predator game. 18 time winner of the MVP oh, someone, award. Led uh, the league oh, yeah. in assists and splashes. He even had the number one recruiting class every single year up until his early retirement and had all of the top facilities in the country. Even though he had some very, very generous donors. I'm talking about Bill Clinton. The MJ of Predators. Every young pred. I'm trying to figure out like how did this, how did this happen? How did y'all let this happen? Just like he desired to be inside kids. I mean, a man liked him so much that he made a whole ass island for him and his buddies just so they can do their diddler activities in peace. Yeah, he was friends with all of Hollywood. Back to Ep though. Ep was like the one kid in high school that always threw the parties. I mean, he was the man, bro. Like everybody loved this guy while he was hot. As soon as the feds came to shut down the party, everybody ran on him and left him with the plane. Even worse, his real friends killed him. Or allegedly, that is. He's probably on a new island for diddling some midgets with Diddy and shit. I mean, Diddy and Epp would be like prime Shaq and Cope. I mean, just call them boys the Splash Bros. Or the Ass Bros, since it's Diddy. If Jeff's actually f***ing midgets, then he's probably just paying homage to his fallen brother, Stephen Hawking, who apparently loved watching little Asian midgets do math problems while being naked. And even though they didn't release the of the midgets, it's kind of obvious, bro. It's like seeing a Hellcat being driven in Atlanta. Like, let's bro, where do, where do I be? Where, where am I at? Like, I don't be knowing none of this stuff, bro. We all know that Lee Lee's not behind that wheel. And we also know Laquavion not solving that math problem. Unless it's phrased like this. Final rating 9.9. .9. Barely edges Diddy for top place. Even though I'm pretty sure that's not the only time these freaks have done that. Plus, I know he got piped in prison. Especially since he's the predator. Just like the cameraman for Kaiser that. <laughs> All right, so Chris also got. Hey, this one of the crazy. Yeah, this one of the crazy. This situation is a little bit different. See, apparently the girl he was texting actually lied about her age, but she eventually came clean once shit started getting serious. Like, no, no, no. When it got when, okay, I get that she was lying about her age. I get that. And some men, some men fall for that lying for the age, but she. It's the point where she told you her age. That's where she. Once you see nineteen or whatever, whatever. Underage, you're supposed to block, delete, block, whatever, and sit on a, such a phone on fire. Like all that. This kid didn't start getting freaky until he found out that she wasn't of age. It was like he smelled young blood. He instantly wanted to bounce. This yeah, like he, he's done forever. Like when he go out in public, he can't go out in public. Like you run your face in every state, every city. Like somebody knows you because everybody knows Casting that. So everybody should know you. And such he did. Well, he wanted her to do. Cause if you read these test messages, oh god, I could just imagine rubbing my dick on your pussy. I'll put my whole dick down your throat and just slowly f you while I choke you. No joke, my dick hard as f right now. You would let me f you like right now, right now. Like God damn, this nigga's a fucking freak. And he takes with that New York ass accent too, so everything sounds more aggressive. Talking about your pussy probably dumb wet right now, huh? <laughs> yeah, your ass hoping to be dumb wet too in prison. The main thing I don't understand about this whole situation is that this nigga is literally casting ass cameraman. Who well, I'ma just let you know, it's mountains of pussy. Dick Rider. 
That's what I'm saying, bro. This nigga is around grown ass woman pussy 24 7 every single day. And he still chose to try to get a minor. 9.1 in A tier. I ain't never seen such a dumb ass in my life. Next up, Dr. Disrespect. Yeah. Did y'all suck a dick to save y'all Barb's life? Yeah, I actually said that. But if you want to see me say more wild shit, tap into the street. Walter and Walter shit. That's not gay. It's just the district confused me. The young fans who watch this man look up to him and love him. I never got into the doctor's so spectrum. Why the fuck do you love these kids back so much? I actually got caught texting a 16 year old on Twitch Whispers. But this is why he got banned on Twitch a while ago back and blah, blah, blah. Y'all already know the drama. I don't got to explain it to y'all. Here's where I get confused. Though. See, during this whole timeline, Doc admits. I didn't even know there's a Twitch Whispers. He did on his wife, which was always kind of fishy to me. Not the cheating part, though. I mean, like, that is like a 6'9 rich white man. But him making that shit public kind of confused me. Because, see, look, he didn't cheat publicly. So why would he make a private matter public? It doesn't make sense. Well, I'll tell you why I think he had to make this shit public. I think his wife found out about that 16 year old he was texting. And while I also think that this guy's a serial cheater, and I don't think that 16 year old was the only girl he was cheating with, his wife probably found out that that was one of the girls he was cheating with and just wasn't going for that. But money talks, and I mean, when you have a 6'9 rich husband who you also had a kid with, it's kind of hard to leave that situation. So for him to kind of someone make it up to her, I think he cheated on her? Publicly apologize. All in all, all I gotta say is being 6'9 and like them young is actually actually crazy because how the fuck could your dick even fit in your family let me chill before i get canceled that yeah, shit don't yeah, fit yeah. bro like no like that's like yeah family ah 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 final rating nine and i'm putting him in tier d or doc does dick entertainment even though he's like six nine i don't think his asshole would be hard to fit into now Sneako? Pete, Sneako hasn't had any allegations made upon him but let this be known, this man very much so likes kids. Let me put y'all on. Nico has said live on stream multiple times that he feels like there should not be an age of consent. What do you think the age of consent should be, Nico? This is not an important conversation. You don't think kids are not as an important conversation? What do you think the age of consent should be? I think it should be at a developed age. That's what is a developed age? What was the age? I just told you at a developed age. Sneeko thinks you should be able to f nine year olds. And get this, the reason why he believes this is because in the bible and quran it doesn't say that there should be an age of legal consent like the quran also says not to watch your girl get fucked in front of you but you didn't follow that shit didn't you you and your pedo homies are just twisting the good books of the quran in the bible yes yeah, so, soon as sneeko said he watched his girl get fucked he uh, he shouldn't have said that because that it, yeah it, uh, you can't say nothing it's else sad to see but Three big black buff niggas that would love your services in prison every single night until you realize consent laws actually matter, even though you won't be. Have fun getting in your asshole, Toronto rating 9.5. He's going into season. Like, I know he did, huh? Mr. Old Sneaker, man. Just like I missed the old Drake. Oh, yeah. You know, ever since the Kendrick and Drake V, Drake's just been on a downward spiral, bro. I mean, he went from being on the top of the world to wanting to be on top of Millie Bobby Brown. You know, we text, we just texted each other the other day, and he was like, I miss you so much. I was like, I miss you more. What advice does he give you? Like, what does he say? Uh, about boys. He helps me. What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's great. You know, giving a teenage girl dating advice... It's probably some of the most predatorial shit you can do. And I don't care how you twist that shit, bro. Like, Drake is not gay. He's not related to her. So why is he texting her about her? <coughs> what, what, what are we talking about? Don't forget, he also <coughs> kissed and touched a 17-year-old while on stage. After acknowledging nah, that she just in general, kissing any girl that you don't know like that is kind of fucking crazy. Like, forget that she's 17, but don't forget. Forget that, but don't forget. Keep it in the back of your head. But at the same time... Why are you kissing a random girl, even if you thought she was a woman or not? Why are you kissing them that many times? Like, what is. He was 17. Like, this is just a rumor, bro. And it's so obvious, too. And there's probably hundreds of other things that this man has done, too. But, like, I ain't gonna lie, Drake keeps his secrets pretty unwrapped. Hey, money. Yeah, I think that's all we gotta see. You're getting a nine, buddy. Besides that, that's it. Appreciate y'all for watching. Follow all the socials Instagram, Twitter, and Twitter. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, but that's that, um. Yeah, it's literally Diddy Disciples, bro, I'm telling you.